They fund at least like two or ten million dollars a year. I think it's two million a year minimum to firefighters of America or something like that. I don't know, man. I'm not a I'm not an expert in charity. But uh Chompers better not eat that. Okay, he didn't. Good. <laughs> Going into game one. And uh, yeah, Abasi often with that heat wave force burn, which uh, if you're not aware, it's from Arizona. It's from here. It's us. It's literally us. So cool. And then uh, Breadstick has been playing Absa all day because it has been a Claren gauntlet, and uh, he also plays Orcane as a dual main. But uh, Orcane versus Claren is not nearly as fruitful as Absa versus Claren, so. He's been warmed up on the on the Apsa, so I respect him starting off with it. Yeah, it's pretty even going into this first stock. Uh, Abasi trying to camp him out just a little bit, and Breadstick closing that ground really well, throwing out some really threatening hitboxes. Oh, but the full charge, not going to get it on that second swing of that cape. Nice parry. Oh, my God, the madman. Instead of going for a jump back air, goes for a wave land uh, roll read down strong and uh, doesn't get it so breadstick capitalizes and take a, takes that first stock oh clone into back here not gonna quite do it but uh, up strong punishing that down special by breadstick will take it even game whoop up there this man got three up airs, almost four up airs in a row on me today at like low percents. Absolutely crazy. Falling up airs from Abasi, sort of showing that his upwards aerial is also quite good. And nice roll read on that down strong. Uh, Breadstick just racking up this percent right now. Rack it up, rack it up, rack it up. Nice parry. Very little end lag on that. And catches um, catches a bossy with the forward, uh, forward air, the strong hit. Some good aiming there, Tex. And uh, yeah, so bossy got a little bit of catch up to do. Um, isn't really getting a lot of room to breathe from this Absa. As I say that, Breadstick retreats to a platform and uh, Abasi hunts him down with that down strong. Ooh, that could have been it, but Breadstick jumps to the right first and doesn't get that conversion. Um, Abasi trying to capitalize on that miss kill confirm. Oh, another parry. Abasi's got to be really careful. Breadstick's been parrying a lot of stuff that you think has ending lag, but doesn't. And, uh, Takes that first game, pretty solid uh, single stock, but looking looking pretty good. Looking neat, looking handsome in his cape. Look at the rest of these guys, they're all playing Smash 4. It's a great time. Everyone's having fun. So these bands, uh, I don't fully... Oh, wait, no, Breadstick one. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so these are actually very good bands. <laughs> I was going to say, like, why did he ban those? That duck under the cloud. I see you, Abasi. But early percent coming out, this, this nice combo from Breadstick. Uh, racking up a early 50 plus percent. And a bossy off stage. This is where uh, Breadstick can really start capitalizing. Oh, goes for the, uh, the call out in the smoke. Maybe he uh, left it there on purpose to kind of be a sneaky devil, be his own deception character. Baiting him to go in that smoke saying, hey, I'll get you. Um, looking for the DI uh, behind, doesn't get it, but gets a Thunderline into up air for that first stock, and a bossy now, uh, kind of reeling. Down a game, down a first stock, and uh, Breadstick's carrying this momentum really well.
Abasi sent into losers by Chompers. A breadstick sent into losers by myself, SBS. And uh, winner of this goes on to play Chompers. So pretty far in the bracket, a lot on the line. Oh my god, what a monster. If Abasi had just let that go, he could have died. But Breadstick, no fear, comes up and uh, gets that uh, forward air. And speaking of no fear, Abasi gets the kill and then doesn't need to. Parries the down special anyway. Because, you know, he ain't a pussy. He parries those. No, the, uh, the down special. He killed, uh, he killed Breadstick and then parried the down special like timer anyway mm. for no reason. It was great. But uh, yeah, Breadstick with that instant response and has a full stock lead. Not anymore. Ooh. Oh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was nutty. Yeah. I don't even know what percent he was at. Uh, he was at 22% before he went off stage. Oh, no. Yeah, it was it was dead even. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, so Brett took game one. Yeah, and pretty he's uh, convincingly, close. too. Yeah. And this was all Brett's favor until that last uh, momentum swing Obasi got from that offstage down air. And uh, gets a de dash attack into combust. DI in on get dash attack. You don't want to do that. Damn. Oh, Brett's the he's Okay, I was going to say, like, he was doing really well as a as Absa there. Like, mm. got one bad combo on him and brought it back. But he was still in command for most of that. Mm. I like the confidence staying with the Absa. I think, have just trying to, I think he was just trying to fool with the boss. He's just like, ah, I made you look. Yeah, right? Look at the boss's uh, jacket. It looks like Arizona, Forsburn. Yo, that's hype. What's up, stream? You're only, like, kind of in that here. There we go. Yeah. I think that was a bossy uh, to respond to. Steve oh, yeah. I, I already got okay. that. I kind of figured think you can sit there and eat a fucking sandwich and then come in and start answering questions that have been asked like thir or 10 minutes ago? Get out of here. I have been eating all day. <laughs> I'm actually, yeah, I, I would like to eat too. I was and supposed to eat before my last class, but then I didn't have time. So. Yeah, and since I have to host a friend that's probably not getting in until 10 like after this tournament's over you want to like pack up and dip and get some food yeah I know you don't want to eat because you just ate but like yeah I'm down to just chill sweet just get food I'm also gonna go uh, meet up with dad Kelly a little later tonight too because apparently he's getting in town oh sick so yeah tell him I say hi and that uh he's very handsome okay <laughs> so goes the forest floor this is actually a great stage for both characters. Mm -hmm. Like, I was going to say, why didn't he ban it? I was like, oh, wait, he's not Claren. Yeah. <laughs> There's been a Claren on stage, like, every single game so far, except for now. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, th this is Forge Burn. Yep. Forge Burn gets a lot off of uh, just being able to run away, smoke camp, and uh, use these platforms to spread it diagonally. Oh, up specials right into him. And then a Epsa, obviously, has the ability to kill off the top really early with a low top blast on. Oh, short hop mm -hmm. would have done it. Um, yeah. The side blast zones are really close to the stage as well. And then, obviously, the zoning capability of Absa on a massive stage. Yeah. It's going to it's gonna get some plus. Yeah. And then the platform layout. Like, Absa loves platforms. Forza loves platforms. We all love platforms. And Absa takes that first stock. Mm -hmm. Oh, a boss, wow. A bossy that right there. He charged that down strong, and it scared Breadstick so much that he was on a different platform when he rolled. <laughs> oh, oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Still punished at a bossy for it, but that's funny. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yike. Yikers. <laughs> a bossy answers back. So, yeah, I find it really hard to contest Forsburn on the stage because, yeah, it's really hard to approach him on those platforms because if he catches you even in the air, like, you're that close to the boss zone. But yep. at least with Absa, like, she just does a really good job at controlling that much space, too. So she doesn't necessarily feel like she needs to approach. Like, if she has a small lead, like, right here, she doesn't need to force anything. Right. Um, as long as you um, force your opponent to approach and play a different game that they're probably not used to playing, like, um, then I think that'll be good for Fred right now. 
Yeah, um, and Breadstick's been doing really well overall. This was um, Brett's counter pick as well, so obviously he's seen some of the same things that you are. Mm -hmm. um, the one scary thing that I'd like to add about Forsburn on the stage with those platforms is if you get him to a spot where he might not be feel comfortable approaching you, because of the platform layout, he can uh, just jump to a different one across the stage with relative ease, really. Yeah. Like his, his ledge boosting's really good, so he can get out to another top platform from, from the other one. For sure. Pretty easily. Yeah. So it's hard to call him out, even when he is just doing flat drops on you on this stage. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, so we, we witnessed their breadstick missing a couple confirms. Uh, Bossy having good DI on them, making it hard for breadstick to actually, you know, figure out where he's going to get the, those hits. And then uh, Bossy ended up taking a stock uh, after, like, four or five close calls. Yeah. And uh, breadstick answered back, answered back really quick. But... Abasi is looking nasty with the 69%. Yeah, for real. Oh, man. Oh, this nice. Is where up special. Yeah. That was really good looking. Wow. And you can tell Abasi's looking for that confirm into combust. Oh, he connects it. Wow, that good was fair, really though. good. Yeah, that, that drift back fair. Wow. He died. Raw combust. Just bounced him off the stage and kills him off the top. Unzackable, too, so. Yeah, that was a... Uh, that sucked. <laughs> Hashtag nerf combust, <laughs> we have more evidence. <laughs> Hi, dinos. Good stuff, though, boss. Hi, I dinos back that there. Oh, hi, Dan. Hi, dinos. I love dinos. <laughs> Me too. Look at him wearing shorts when it's, like, freezing out. It wasn't too it's bad cold. today, actually. Oh, yeah, he's, he's from Cheeseland. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from, oh, yeah, from Michigan. Wisconsin. Or, I don't know why I always mix up those two states, but I do. Michigan and Wisconsin, I don't know why. But. So Michigan is the shape of a hand. Wisconsin's full of cheese. Yeah. I would know because I'm a Bears fan. Proud I should you. know, but wow, I don't. Fake fan. <laughs> But anyways, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Breadstick switched to Arcane, and this is Debrick's favorite stage with Debrick's color too. So, gets the counter pick to a good stage. Yeah, I don't think it's bad for Forsburn in this matchup either, but it's really good for Arcane. Mm -hmm. I think you can really capitalize on disadvantage on the ledges when you get your opponent off stage. Oh, just absolutely. With bubbles and stuff like that. So. And don't forget frame sevens. Oh, yeah. On those top platforms, they're scary, dude. Waveland frame sevens. Yeah. And uh, one thing that D Brick actually mentioned, because oh. I, I asked him why he doesn't like Merchant Port, and he said that the, those top center platforms are too short, so he can't roar back air. He said he likes a lot of stages with long platforms that lets you uh, get get a like outside of your dash distance and then roar. So, oh, that makes sense. Yeah, like I, okay. I never understood why, but like now I get it. That makes sense actually. Yeah. I just never really looked at it in that light. Yeah, agreed. But um, we saw a breadstick throw out like four F, uh, down strongs and like hit with the fourth one. It was actually freaking hilarious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Brett well, plays it patient. Strong? Gonna take it. Dan said he could have lived. I don't believe Dan anymore. Yeah, I don't honestly. believe Dan. <laughs> like I don't believe that at all. No. He's at 151. Yeah, man. Even though it wasn't like, I don't think it was a sweet spot, but still, like 151 at ledge. Yeah. And so another thing is like, Breadstick was going apps uh, most of this tournament because the matchup uh, for Orkane versus Claren is really hard. I'd argue that the matchup as as Forsburn against uh, Orkane is just as hard. Like it's just as bad for Orkane as Claren is. Um, they're very difficult matchups and mm -hmm. like, Claren does different things to him, but Forsburn has a really good edge guard on him, which you just saw Bossy capitalize on hard. Yeah. And it's, like, really not too hard for Forsburn to cover all of Orkane's options. Mm -hmm. Not to mention your down tilt as uh, Forsburn kind of outspacing a lot of the disjoint Orkane has on the ground. Mm -hmm. And just being able to optimize a lot of platforms. So, like, I feel like Absa versus Claren is even, and I feel like Absa versus Forsburn is even. Mm -hmm. So... Just staying Absa probably would have been the better bet. But that's just me. But I, I understand, like, you went down 2-1 and wanted to try out something different, see if it could work. But I think just matchup-wise that 
it's probably favorable to go Absa in this one, too. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see. I mean, it might just be a comfort pick, too. I mean, he's... I'm sure he's been playing Orcane a lot longer than he has Absa. Oh, absolutely, too. yeah. And I'm sure he might have even more matchup experience with against Forsburn as Orcane than maybe Absa. I don't know. I'm kind of just... Yeah, for sure. Thinking on nothing, but... But uh, he's been crawling his way back into this game right now. Oh, oh my, my... Frame my. 7. Uh, gets it. Wow. He crawled his way back from a huge deficit. He was at like 155 for an entire stock and a half. And yeah, he like he feels going back to Absa now because like even though he did win that game, like you could tell how much more of a struggle it was for him to do anything. He really abused down strong. He really abused a lot of the things where King can. Yeah. But like overall, as Absa and his neutral bouts and his recovery, he's just been doing better. Mm -hmm. And so even though he won that game, I totally respect and am proud of him for going back to Absa because I think it's a better choice. Mm -hmm. If he wins, you, you, get, you get to fight Absa versus uh, Edelus. Yay. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Just don't approach. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I do against Absa, too. That's why I was playing so freaking lame. At least you're not a touch of death character, though, so that's why I have to play it that way. No, I mean, I was I mean, doing like that against Absa. Touch of, touch of death E, I guess. Yeah, I meant like, but I was doing that against Absa, not against you. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm just saying because Edelus is so fat. He's a big boy. He's got a lot of girth. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, game five. Holy crap. Yeah. Breadstick was really showing up today, considering his first day back since Heat Wave, which isn't too long, but... Yeah, it's about a month. Just just short of a month. Yeah. And thinking really hard on this counter pick, as you mentioned in an earlier set, he likes to think these counter picks. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Abasi's counter pick now, right? Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right, because uh, Abasi went up 2-1, not the mm -hmm. other way around. But uh, so Abasi going to Merchant Port, and uh, he lost this game here, didn't he? I... Didn't they start on Merchant Port? I kind of came in like game two ish, and I, I think they won March Park game one, but. Well, I I'm can't say not. for certain, but. Yeah. I, I had a hunch they did, and that uh, Abasi lost. But counter picks to it AZ stage, AZ skin, and uh, just trying to find a way to kill this floaty beast of a glass cannon. Yeah. Ooh, speaking Fair. of glass cannon, there's a. Oh no. Oh no. He up aired. And scared a bossy down. <laughs> That's what happened. Dude, Not I really. Wish. <laughs> but yeah. You wish what? I wish I could do that with that list. <laughs> just like put this like eh, and then like I don't know. And everyone just goes like oh no, and then like just dies because they don't want to. They don't want to get touched. Dude, I'd have another kill confirm. Yo, that was so sick. That uh, so he wow up special then like the obvious thing would have been like okay now as a down air I'm off this tech and Abasi kind of like saw that coming oh. and so instead what he, what Birdstick answered with was an air dodge and with punish mm. super good yeah. and uh, he's got a full stock lead right now 100 percent on uh, Forsburn they're both at kill percent like right now oh no and bad TI oh, from wow. Abasi you got a three stocks to one situation Birdstick is looking really good yeah oh. Bad DI on that downer, but that's okay. Like I said, two stocks to one. Mm -hmm. e like, full stock lead, just build this percent and find that confirm, man. Yeah. And here comes this percent. Ugh. I think what Brett needs to do right now to really solidify this lead is just play it a lot closer. Because Be I face. think he's been, yeah, he's been in his face a lot when he has a little bit of a lead, which, like, he's still maintaining that roughly, like, whole stock lead, but. Yeah, you like, think he's playing a little too scared once he gets the lead, is what you're um, saying? Oh, that'll oh. do it! Red wow. Stick takes it. Game five. That up tilt up air came out of nowhere, dude. Yeah. Holy, holy shit. Crap. Yeah, I wasn't saying he was going to go that route, but I'm just saying, like, he yeah. needed to make sure 